Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Jen, so if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about girly stuff, shopping, uh, do a lot of vlogs, uh, some unboxings, reviews, and today, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, do stick around and subscribe to my channel. So I have been a little bit behind in terms of videos because I've been just been super busy at work and then I kind of got a bit tired and um, to be honest, a little bit lazy. So anyway, I'm back today with a collection video I really wanted to show you guys my Hermes collection to date and I guess my so-called Hermes journey so I think you guys can guess what the next step is going to be. So I'm going to start with like one of my most used items from Hermes. Um, so I got all of these within the last I think four or five months except for the KDT and the uh, Click H which I got like years ago before I really wanted to start on Hermes. So one of my favorite things are is actually my garden party 30 in etoupe which i use mostly for work uh, and it's just a very useful bag i used it for our business trips as well um, and because it's extendable it's great because i tend to like i don't know somehow i just need more stuff when i'm on a business trip so it really helps um this is size 30 that's a larger size 36 which i will consider as well because it's just a very super practical bag the leather is thick hardy and it's very um non-logo-ish very nondescript so it's not flashy at all of course i love the uh, pegasus that my essay got me this is in framboise and this is rouge garans and this is um rose sakura the light pink and of course this twilly is also from hermes i've got another twilly somewhere in my dior bag so i think you guys have seen that so i have two twillies including this one and so this is one of my most used items if you're interested in more details on the garden party do check out my unboxing video um i will link all videos i mentioned down below so that's the bag and uh, the other thing that i think i use or wear a lot is definitely my um oran sandals so these are in white as you can see i've worn these to like you know i've worn these so much i wouldn't say wore these to death because i think i can still wear them for a long time but you can see the creases you can see how much i've worn this pair and white just goes with a lot of stuff especially on weekends it's just great for everything i don't wear these to the office because i, I don't like wearing sandals to work like open toe shoes but it's just up to you so that's another thing that I really, really use, wear a lot from Hermes. So as we're on the topic of shoes, my other pair is actually the bikini sandals from um, Hermes as well. Mine is in silver and these are actually quite comfortable, a bit more comfortable than Hermes just because it's kind of more cushioned um, here, this area, compared to the Oran. I don't know, that's how I feel. Uh, but obviously Orans are flat, so um, those are pretty comfortable as well. So love this pair if you want a bit of height. I think these are two and a half inches. So they're pretty good, very hardy. Love them also for weekends. And okay, and the next one, um, I'll do a more detailed uh, review of the Oran, uh, the Hermes shoes because, because I'm actually getting another pair of shoes next week um, because basically our Chinese kind of believe it's not a good idea to buy shoes during Chinese New Year. Today, it is still the 12th day of Chinese New Year. So I told my essay I can only buy them after Chinese New Year. So and another thing that I got from Hermes in terms of accessories would be my Pop H belt, which is super pretty. I did an unboxing recently because I just got this and I still have not worn it. This is in the color gold, uh, the Hermes gold, which, which is a, re a rich, earthy, brown a classic color from them it's a narrow uh, belt as you can see and the edge is not too large which is what i prefer so it's almost not very noticeable because it's the same color as well and it is in silver toned hardware so obviously this belt has the stitching in white and it's made really really well i have yet to wear this so i'll need to find a time to wear it um, it comes in a dust bag as you can see with the Hermes orange box which I kept somewhere oh and by the way I will just put it back nicely sometimes I'm a little bit fussy like this like I like to have it as much as I can in the original packaging but once I get more belts I have to think of a way to organize them 
So this is my only belt from Hermes, which um, I'm looking forward to wear. Okay, and then let's get into some of the accessories. So I've got this little jewelry box here that I got from Stackers. So that's where I keep the costume jewelry. Oh, first I am wearing a pair of, I mean my pair of Pop H in the Cray with rose gold hardware that I got like I think in December. So I love this pair. I wear these a lot and I think most people don't even realize it's Hermes, which is great. And then um, another one, it is my Rouge de Coral or it's a coral color um, bracelet. It's also from the fashion jewelry. So, oh gosh, I'm suddenly having a bout of forgetfulness. I kind of forgot the name of this bracelet, but I will put it on the screen. Um, this is the one with the padlock and it is in rose gold, even though it looks like almost yellow gold here, but this is rose gold hardware with a coral color, uh, very, very nice, bright, and it matches my Chanel coral mini reissue at the back here. So that's one of the major reasons why I got it. So that's, this is the, I guess I'll call it the padlock bracelet for now. And then um, this is also something I got kind of recently. This is in Nata. So this is the, um, oh my god, what bracelet is this? Right, so actually I went to check on the website. This is the Click Cadenas bracelet, thing referring to the padlock. And this is the Old Kelly bracelet in Nata with um, yellow gold hardware. So it kind of like, um, it is a double tour design as well. I also did an unboxing recently because I think I got this in January. So quite recent. So I just got it because I just love, love the cray color. I sorry, Nata color. You know, I'm just a white. I mean, I love white or off white as you can probably guess from my stuff. I would love to get a white car as well. Um, okay, so this is how you wear it. Oh gosh. Uh, so this is how it looks guys with the padlock and um, it's like a double tour design just like the Kelly double tour. I'm also wearing my Cartier JUC as usual which is on 24-7. So love this bracelet. It's a, a little bit of a different look from my usual. So I think it's quite cool, uh, chic for, you know, especially, I guess, with more casual clothing. But because of the color, the color is like a very soft, off-white, creamy. Um, Nata actually is, I think it means cream in Spanish. So I think it also goes well with skirts, uh, you know, casual dresses and stuff like that. And another thing, it is my mini Rival bracelet. It is this color is just super pretty. It is the um, MS um, Mauve Sylvester, which is such a dreamy pinkish, purplish, like lilacish color. Um, yeah, and this is much easier to wear. It is just a single strap. So they also have a double tour version, which I might consider going forward. But love this. This is also in rose gold hardware, by the way. So just quick comparison. And my oldest items from Hermes would definitely be the Kelly Double Tour, which I got in Singapore, Marina Bay Sands. Hermes, I think it has been more than five years. It's been a while, so this is how you wear it. I'll just go really quickly. Um, so you kind of put it onto the Kelly buckle and then twist it and here you are. And finally, the last accessory it is my Hermes Click H. This is in a very bright blue, turquoise blue. Um, this is in Rouge Tomate, which is, I guess, uh, tomato red. Um, this one, I, I don't really remember what shade of blue, but it is really pretty. And this is yellow gold hardware. Um, okay, just for completeness sake, I will wear it. So Click H is always a classic and prices have obviously increased since I got it. So love this. I still wear it off and on, not a lot. Um, but, you know, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, I think like my least used. 
luxury items i'm going to try to wear uh you know use or and wear the stuff that i get if i've really decided that if i'm not like you know gonna if i find myself not wearing it for a long time i might think of actually letting it go unless it's a really like classic piece or if it's a piece for a um special occasion okay i still have some items left okay let's start okay let's this is the third last it is my silver necklace from Hermes, my only silver piece of jewelry piece of silver jewelry it is the Farandol or Jube. That's Cantonese. Uh, they call it Jube because basically this anchor kind of looks like a pig's snout, if you know what I mean. So I love this uh, necklace. I wore it quite a few times already, but recently I forgot about this. So basically, it is a long necklace which you can kind of double up and wear it like that. Uh, it doesn't really match what I'm wearing today, I guess, but it is super pretty, very chic. Think and you can wear it a few ways. You can like uh, I'll link the video of my unboxing down below as well. So you can either wear it single strand or you know double it up like this or oh, 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 pull it a little bit like that. And this is how it look. Oops. So that's the Farandol mini box. Even though it's just a uh, silver, it's not real gold. So I still keep it in this um, original Hermes box that it came in because apparently, um, you know, to keep it from oxidizing the silver, you should kind of keep it in like a darker, I don't know, box. That's what Hermes wrote in the tips, I think. So I'm going to try it out because obviously my Tiffany pieces that I used to own, I think I still have one, um, the silver jewelry, they really oxidize quite fast. I always have to get them polished. So far, I haven't done anything for this uh, Ferrandol necklace. It still looks very shiny. I think I've worn it at least five or six times. Okay, and another thing would be my uh, ring that I just got. This is a rose gold 18K with some diamonds. This is, is the anchor ring, H anchor ring, I think. And you can see the 27 little diamonds. It's actually super bling for such a small... I mean, for you know such tiny diamonds, I believe they use quite good quality diamonds. It should be around E to G color, uh, or E to F. So the highest color for diamonds is D. Um, I think this is this is definitely within E to F. So not too bad. I mean, very good actually. So I love this rose gold. It's so like you know understated. Nobody knows that it's famous, but I do. But anyway, I just love the this ring. I tried this on um, and was comparing it to the Kelly ring, which has four tiny diamonds. And the pricing is almost the same. So I felt like this was nicer, a little bit more unique, I guess, not the Kelly style. So I wear this. I've been wearing this since Chinese New Year quite a bit. I don't really see any scratches per se, even though it has a smooth surface. But I think some hairline scratches are to be expected. Uh, as I wear it more and more. And guys, finally, the last thing from Hermes would be my watch. My personalized H-hour watch. Or personalized hour watch. Basically, it just means time in French. So I try to do some research. And this is a personalized one, as in the hardware is gold. It has a white face. It is a rose, sorry, hardware right? is rose gold, is rose gold plated. And this is a rose sakura strap. Rose sakura strap. Let's compare it to the Pegasus. So see the exact same shade. So obviously I don't think I'm going to be able to get a rose sakura Birkin or Kelly. So I am happy with a rose sakura strap on my watch. So I'm just going to remove the Kelly double tour first. And then I'll show you how the Rose Sakura looks next to the Mauve Sylvester. So Rose Sakura is a very soft pink. And as you know, it's a super popular color, especially in Asia. I guess we love our pale pinks. Um, and just for your information, I did not ask for a pink Birkin. Then you guys might be surprised at the color I, I'm getting. So anyway, this is 
the mauve sylvester and then this is the rose sakura love this oh sorry guys this is not the last item it is not so i still have one more thing which is the ready to wear that i got from hermes which i have still which i still have not worn so this is from the <coughs> bridal not dal it's like uh, sorry i know that i totally uh murdered uh the pronunciation so this is made in the uk apparently um the knitwear from uh, the knitwear from hermes is all made in the uk i think uk has very um famous yarn and you know for the knits and this is i believe um, a mix of cashmere and wool so it's just a very basic sweater a uh, round crew sweater it is in very soft um, tones of color kind of etupish i feel and um off white so i think it does match my etup garden party very well i have not worn this because it is a uh, pretty thick and as in like you know um, it's kind of warm in malaysia even though the ac in my office is just crazy like crazy cold but then once you step out then it gets like crazy warm so that's what we deal with and it looks really uh chic and very understated obviously there are no logos anywhere on the sweater itself but obviously if you love Hermes, you probably know that this is their signature design and that's the last item guys and i just totally love um the watch that i got so i've been wearing it quite a bit so i hope i can keep the strap clean uh, if i do get another watch it would be a cape cord and it would be a darker color just to have a different option and i was grocery shopping because i went to a place with my doggy as usual on weekends went to a cafe and stuff so i just wanted to share this is a very very pretty flower sp sparkling floral tea it, this is from tapping tapir it is a malaysian homegrown brand i just wanted to kind of promote it a bit this video is not sponsored i just saw it at the um grocery store in plaza arcadia and it's so pretty and i just you know my friends my friend was like it's quite obvious you bought it because of the packaging that i'm like yeah you're right but anyway it's so pretty i'm looking forward to uh going to drinking it later this is marigold with a hint of lime and the pink is just so pretty i think this is light green tea but it's rose green with a hint of lime packaging is just so pretty right up my alley so if it tastes good i'm just gonna buy this um, and keep it make sure there are some in my fridge so yeah that's all guys thanks so much for watching and if you've watched this far please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also let me know if you have any questions um finally finally yeah. the question like do i prefer chanel or hermes um to be honest guys I, they are both very very different uh, in terms of the aesthetics and hermes is much more utilitarian it's a cleaner it has a lot cleaner it has cleaner lines while chanel is more feminine okay so i think it's just a matter of personal personal preference um hermes is great when you want to go for a plainer more understated look even though i think the whole world can recognize a birkin now i think not everyone can recognize a kelly so i might want to get one kelly later on not so soon and um chanel is just really ultra feminine very girly very sweet you know it is a dressier in my opinion um while um hermes is just very chic uh sophisticated and very clean a bit more utilitarian than um chanel so you, know, you can just tell from the origins like Hermes, you know, has a lot of uh, horsey or rather equestrian uh, influences, whereas um, Chanel is more, is definitely very different. Uh, the tweed, the details, uh, both have um, excellent workmanship, but I think Hermes workmanship is just slightly better than Chanel. It is still slightly better than Chanel, but I do still love my Chanel's, as you can probably guess. Um, yeah. So those, these two fashion houses are two of my favorites, I guess, and they are just very, very different. Uh, but to be honest, guys, recently I've been thinking and I think that I've been buying too many things. 
I feel like after I get another thing that is coming up and maybe a few more items, I think I might like rest a little while and kind of like take stock of what I have and really really make sure I use them. So last night I did a spreadsheet uh, with all the items that I bought like in the past year and a half and I was a bit shocked at the amount. So yeah guys, so yeah, I'm just asking myself if I really do need so many Chanel minis. So do let me know what you think guys like after you buy so much and you know packaging etc there's just like i love the packaging we all love unboxings right but it's a lot a lot of paper is used um the boxes the paper bags i never keep the paper bags because it's just too many and the ribbons etc yeah so i might really try to streamline my collection even more as much as i can and um yeah so uh, thanks for watching guys do let me know your thoughts as always i always uh, look forward to your messages like when you guys dm me on instagram or you know leave me a comment just to say hi and again since it's still Ch chinese new year happy chinese new year uh, happy new year and see you in my next video bye